Hi everyone, welcome to Mindful Nurses Wellness Wednesday. My name is Claudia Wong. I'm co-founder of Mindful Nurses. And Happy New Year. It's 2021 and it's the start to a very interesting year. Uh, we have 2020 behind us. Uh, it was quite tumultuous at times and it's spilling over a little bit uh, to this year. But thank you for taking the time off, time to tune in and think about intentions that you can set for this coming year. So intentions are very important to set and I want to describe a little bit how they're different from goals. So usually there's New Year's resolutions and certain goals you want to accomplish such as weight loss or get your finances in check, um, be more active, things like that. But intentions are a little bit different. So goals are tasks and kind of a destination you want to get to. They're also more external. Like they are things that you want to do that are outside of you, um, things that you want to get done, check off the list, accomplish. And they're also in the future. Intentions are more of a state of being. So this can be being more present. It could mean being more loving. An intention can also mean trying to open your heart more, be open to others. And it's also something that's internal, like a feeling, state of being. It can also be interpersonal, so yourself and somebody else or others. And it can be done now. It's not something that you have to wait several months to achieve. You can usually achieve this in the present moments or from day to day. So it's good to have both intentions and goals. Today we'll focus on intentions. Intentions are also something that when making an intention, you can phrase it in the positive and in the present moment. Instead of saying, I won't be so hard on myself, you could say, I am kind to myself. So see, you switch the negative to the positive. And also you put it to the present moment. So instead of, I am hard on myself, which is negative, and um, which is a negative feeling, you say, I am kind to myself. This is because the body and the mind and the universe, they can't hear the difference between positive or negative. When they hear something negative, like I can't or I won't, they just hear that negative aspect. So try to phrase your intentions and also in general, your mindset, your goals in the positive. So if you have a comfortable place where you can sit, it could be a yoga mat, I'm on my couch today, uh, or an altar somewhere sacred to you, as some people create an altar and sit by it for meditation. You can sit in that place now. And also grab a piece of paper and a pen. I'm going to walk us through a meditation 
to really clarify your intentions for 2021. So sitting in a comfortable position, you can either have your legs crossed or sit with your feet on the floor, having your back straight but comfortable and rolling your shoulders down your back. You can have your hands on your knees or on your lap. And gently close your eyes or look downwards with a soft gaze. Start to focus in on your breath. It comes in and out of your nose. So feel the air as it comes in through your nose. And out through your nose. Passing over your upper lip. your breath be relaxed and slow now feeling the air in your belly like a balloon and out. Feel your body in the present moment. In this space. Because the present is the only thing that's real. The past has already come and gone. And the future may never come. The present moment is what counts. And now think of an intention that you want to set. So it can be how you want to be in everyday moments such as you, you want to be more present with your loved ones or be more present when you're walking around noticing the sights and smells sensations on your skin. It could be taking time for yourself 
giving yourself self-love. Whatever that intention is. I'll try to feel it. Feel that you've already reached that. If your intention is to be more loving, maybe you feel that your heart is expanding, your chest is expanding. Maybe you feel joy. Really feel it with every cell of your body. And visualize what this intention will bring to you and to others. Can imagine things like improved relationships with your loved ones and even strangers. It can mean that you are more attentive to your surroundings and what's going on from day to day. Can mean that you feel more joy and express joy to others. Just visualize that now and really embody it like it's happening now. Because your mind, your body, it doesn't know if some event is happening in the future or, or that it will happen. It just recognizes these sensations so cultivating these sensations and feeling as though you already arrived and that your intentions have come true while well, you're already embodying that and it is your reality So putting that phrase, that intention in the present tense, you know, I am loving to myself, I am loving to others, I am open-minded. I give myself self-care, self-love. taking this, these intentions, slowly return to your breath. Feeling the air come in and out through your nose. When you're ready, slowly open your eyes and come back to the space. Now taking that paper and pen, write down your intention. You can make it all capital letters, you can use a Sharpie, this is an intention that you want to embody, to fulfill, then write it large, write it big with determination. 
If you write things down that you want to have in your life, they solidify more. It's a commitment to yourself. Now put this piece of paper wherever you can see it. You can put it in your sacred space. You can put it on the refrigerator. Wherever you will be reminded that this is important to you and this is what you want to carry out. And you will be able to manifest this in your daily life just by putting attention to it and committing to it. So I hope that you were able to come up with important intentions for yourself. If not, you can return to this when you're ready and start the process. And I hope that your manifestations come to fruition And you have all that you desire and manifest in your life. So this month we have more Wellness Wednesday sessions, some exciting things to start off the new year. Next week, next Wednesday, we have mandala drawing with Camille Benita. And she's going to be coming from uh, Portugal sharing a session on mandala drawing. So she actually attended yoga teacher training with Janelle and I in Bali, that's how we met. And she held a session of mandala drawing on the beach in Bali. And we were all very engrossed in this activity. It's, it's very relaxing and focused, but enjoyable too, creating something beautiful. So I hope you tune in and enjoy that session. And the next week, we have Michael. He's an acupuncturist, a Chinese medicine acupuncturist. Um, and he's going to be talking about acupuncture. So if you have any questions about acupuncture, you can definitely message us, and we'll ask him, and he can address them at, at the session. The last week of this month, we will have a talk on mindful communication. So this is such an important skill to have. You communicate every day with people, whether it be your loved ones or people at work. Mindful communication is so important to avoid miscommunication and hard feelings and a lot of assumptions that happens when people communicate. Um, so you won't want to miss that session for such a valuable tool. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful rest of your Wellness Wednesday and see you later. Take care.